Good afternoon, Rudy Khan here with Tech Out. Today, a little bit of a different video. I wanted to show you guys my setup for doing phone repairs, computer repairs, stuff like that. Um, and before I get into it, I'm by no means a professional. This is just like a side thing, a hobby. Make a couple bucks on the side. Um, mainly just for fun. It's not a business or anything like that. But I'm getting some stuff set up so I can get, you know, do more repairs and stuff like that. Um, and the first thing I got is this 3-in-1 soldering hot air station. Excuse the mess over here. It is, like I said, it's like a little workbench, so there's clutter everywhere. Um, but this is a 3-in-1 hot air station. Um, so you've got your hot air gun, you've got your soldering iron, and it's also a DC power supply. So you can, um, these leads right here are for testing. Um, it'll give you voltage. If you flip this switch over here, um, then this one and this one right here will supply voltage um, and you can adjust it right here. Um, so I actually got a cable that has a bunch of different cables on it for iPhones so you can power iPhones um, from the DC power supply. Um, they actually plug on to the board where the battery would go so you can use that for diagnostics and stuff like that. Um, this is the workspace right here. I'm going to get a silicone soldering mat um, for right here to put here so I don't damage the table. Obviously you don't want to solder uh, or use extremely hot air over wood. Um, I haven't been soldering or doing any of that yet. Um, I, the only time I've used the hot air gun is for doing screen replacements. Um, very very low setting just to soften the adhesive. This right here is like the shop computer I guess you could say. It's nothing special. It's a 2007 iMac that I got for free. Um, it runs El Capitan, it works fine, I use it for eBay, looking up stuff on iFixit. Um, it plays YouTube videos just fine, so if I need to look at something on how to do something, um, I can do it right here in front of me. Um, check my eBay listings, eBay bids. Um, right now I'm just buying cheap, broken iPhones on eBay and repairing them and reselling them. Um, so like I said, not making big bucks, it's you know, maybe 10 or 15 dollars here and there. Um, but it's more for the fun of it and the practice and stuff like that right now. When I get good at it, I might buy some higher-end phones, you know, some newer phones that are, you know, current. Right now, I'm buying, like, 6, 6S. Um, the first one I did was a 5. I just did a battery replacement on it. Um, the battery is completely bad. It wouldn't boot up or anything like that. I replaced the battery, and it worked fine. So, made, like, 5 bucks on that, you know, just for the fun of it, like I said, just for practice. Um, the keyboard and the mouse for the computer, I just keep pushed up against it when I'm not using it. Um, power strip just so I can plug things in. Right now it's the iMac and um, the soldering station. I know you probably shouldn't plug it up with the power strip, but whatever. Um, the power strip's rated for 1800 watts, so should be alright. Um, right here I just have a little light that I can move around um, for when I'm working on stuff. Um, it actually just has a Philips Hue bulb in it so I can turn it on and off with my phone if I need to. Right here this is a Zebra um, UPS 2844 printer. Um, so all it does is, I think it's turned off right now or unplugged, I think it's unplugged. Um, actually, it should be, I don't know, I might knock the cord out. Anyway, it, uh, it's a UPS label printer, um, so it's just thermal labels in there for printing UPS labels for shipping. Um, that's all it does, nothing else, nothing special. But that is it right now, so that is my workspace for repairing iPhones and computers and anything else that I want to tinker with. Um, and this is just getting started, so as I progress, I will give you guys some updates. Um, I might live stream some of the repairs as well um, after I get better at them. Right now, I, I bid on an iPhone. Um, I want it for $26. It's an iPhone 6 Plus, um, and it is water damaged. So we're going to see if I can get that going again and bring it back to life. This has been Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day.